Does anyone still watch this channel? Let me know. Anyone out there. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been six, seven-ish months since I've posted on my YouTube channel, which don't even get me started. I'm going to give you guys all the updates on what's been going on in my life and everything. I actually did a film and edit an entire video a couple months ago that I'm going to go into in this video, but I just never ended up posting it. I was thinking of a video to film, like what would you guys even want to see? Do people even remember me? Probably not, but I think the best thing to do would kind of just update you guys on everything that's been going on in my life within the past seven months because I feel like so much has changed and most of you probably don't even remember me. That's literally so sad. But for those of you guys that care, those of you guys that are watching, thank you. I'm Bella, by the way, if you don't remember me. First of all, sorry, I'm all over the place. I forgot to mention that I'm actually very sick. So, yeah, if I sound sick or if I look like death, that's mostly why. It's not anything serious. I literally thought it was strep throat because my throat had white spots in it and it's red. Do you guys care to hear this? Probably not, but it's actually nasal drainage or something like that. Basically it's not from sleeping and just not taking care of myself because I've been out and about these past couple weeks so it kind of makes sense. But if I do sound a little bit sick and if that's annoying, if I could control it I would. I really would. We can start where my last video was filmed I guess and I think it was during the end of winter break. After that video was done I went back to school, finished out my semester. Great second half of the semester. And then I came home for summer. I finished my school year pretty early. I was here by like the end of March, I think. No March? No. No, no, no. End of April. Middle to end of April. But I was home pretty early on, so I've been home for a really long time. I'm all moved in. My stuff is out of my apartment back in college. What I've been doing to keep busy is I have an internship, so that's super cool. It's for like a social media company. Kind of funny because one of the things that I talked about in my interview for this internship company was a lot about my YouTube channel and like how long I've been doing it and how much I enjoy it. I think that's kind of funny. But you guys, this whole channel was brought up in my interview thing and I talked a lot about that. I really like the internship so far. I still don't know exactly what I'm doing. I feel like I'm not qualified to even be in an internship in a real life job kind of position role. I definitely think that's normal for people that are just starting out in internships though so I'm not trying to think too much about it and then I've also still been working at Bath and Body Works which I've been working at since last summer in the spring I actually worked at the Bath and Body Works where my college was so I worked there in Florida and I like transferred over and then I transferred back to this Bath and Body Works I have a really scary story time about working at that Bath and Body Works I don't know if I want to post it yet it was a shooting scare and it was really scary and I don't know if that would be like a trigger for anyone or if you guys even want to hear about it but it was kind of a traumatic experience for me. I won't be working at that Bath and Body Works there anymore but the one here that I work at is going well. I love working there. I'm out of breath. I think that's because I'm sick. I don't know. Um, what else? Oh, I turned 21 a couple of days ago. It was honestly could not have asked for a better 21st birthday. My friends and my boyfriend and my parents, they all did such an amazing job putting together an amazing celebration. We went downtown to the city, I stayed the night, some of my friends stayed the night. It was just a really fun time and I remember the full night, which <laughs> is great. I was really trying not to forget anything or black out. It's kind of crazy to me that I hit 21. I don't know why that's such a weird age for me. Normally I'm very excited for birthdays and I was super excited for my 21st. but. I think just turning 21 is so strange to me because you're legal to do almost everything at this point except maybe you rent a car or I think you can rent a car but it's a little bit more expensive because of your age being 21 or under 25 something like that I could do a whole story time on my 21st birthday I don't really think people care to hear about it but it was a lot of fun oh I got a perm I got a perm a couple months ago I actually filmed an entire video of my perm experience sitting through, getting the rods in. For those of you guys that don't know, a perm is like putting chemicals in your hair to make it curly permanently. So yeah, I did do an entire video about my perm experience and filming it and everything, but I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's been two months and my hair is <laughs> my hair is basically straight again, so I don't want to post a video about my perm experience if it was not a fail, but like kind of. It's definitely back to its straight self, which is Unfortunate because I really I wanted to have curly hair at least for a couple months 
but I think my hair just is not, <laughs> it doesn't hold the curl for some reason. It's a little bit unfortunate, but when I first got it, and for the first month, month and a half, even two months, it was a lot of fun to style and everything. I got like a wave type perm, so it wasn't super curly or anything, but yeah, it was fun while it lasted. I might just need to learn how to style it a little bit differently. I know it's supposed to fall after a couple months. Maybe I'll post that video. We'll see. I got Invisalign. By the way, you guys hopefully can't tell. I don't like the way that I talk with it in. And I feel like I talk with a lisp. And you guys hopefully can't see it on the camera. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if it's noticeable or not. But I've had Invisalign for about a month now. I've wanted to get it for a super long time. I just never decided to get it until recently. And it's because my dentists have always said like, oh, you don't need braces, your teeth are fine. Okay, I don't need it, but personally, I don't like my teeth at all. They're like one of my biggest insecurities. And even though they are straight enough to not have braces, I really wanted to get them because I feel like anytime I'm talking to someone, and especially because I'm on YouTube, I'm in front of the camera a lot, and I hate the way my teeth look when I edit my videos, or just when I'm talking to people, or if I see myself in pictures. So yeah, long story short, I finally got Invisalign. I want to do a video about my whole experience because it's a lot, like taking it out and putting it back in every time you eat, brushing your teeth every time, getting used to it, the pain. And I know I watched a lot of videos when I first got Invisalign. I feel like I can't talk about it much now since I've only had it for about a month. But yeah, I'm supposed to have it for about 8 months or something like that, so it isn't too bad. It is a pain, but I think it's going to be worth it hopefully for a straighter smile. The last update that I have for you guys is my boyfriend and I are about to hit a year of dating in like a week or a week and a half, something like that, which is crazy because you guys have never seen him on my channel. Usually I'm very public about my relationships with people, whether it be my friends, anyone really. I'm very public about posting that, especially on my YouTube channel. It's probably because I haven't posted on this YouTube channel at all so obviously I wouldn't post any videos with him if I'm not even posting to begin with but I might do a video with him I don't know he's down to do one I think it would be really fun if you guys got a chance to meet him because I've been dating him for a pretty substantial amount of time and a year is actually gonna be the longest that I will have dated anyone in my entire life which I don't know if that's sad or not sad yeah I will try to do a video with him soon so that you guys can kind of get to know him and he's also a huge part of my life so I think that would be really cool to post on here aside from that those are all of the main updates that I have for you I had a great school year I've just been working a lot with my internship and then with my actual job I promise I did not forget about my YouTube channel I literally think about posting a video pretty much every single day it's just so hard to get back into it when you've been away from it for so long hopefully you guys got a little bit of an idea of what I've been up to these past seven months. It's definitely been a lot, but I'm super excited to be back, and I promise, promise, I will be uploading videos soon, sometime within the next couple weeks, because I really want to get some content out, and I miss filming. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you guys for watching this, if you're, anyone actually is watching this, because I'm sure no one's even subscribed anymore. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.